14 years ago, I was just a teenager when I stumbled upon a music group that would change my life forever, the Gaither Vocal Band. They were my introduction to Southern Gospel music and through their music, the Lord drew me closer to him, uh, leading me to salvation. They even inspired me to start singing myself. Since then, I've spent countless hours studying their albums, breaking down their vocal arrangements and harmony parts. Today, I'm taking on a nearly impossible task, ranking my top five favorite Gaither vocal band albums. Now, this isn't just about the lineup that's on the albums, that's for another video that I will link in the description. Instead, I'll be judging the albums based on vocal arrangements, production quality, and of course, the songs themselves. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Number five is Southern Classics, Volume 1, produced by Michael Sykes, Bill Gaither, and Michael English. This album features an incredible lineup with Terry Franklin, Michael English, Mark Lowry, and Bill Gaither. The songs on this album are absolutely timeless, with vocal arrangements that are electric and full of energy. And also, ha <laughs> ha mullets. But seriously, this album set the stage for a lot of what I love about Southern Gospel music. Check out Give Up, Little Is Much When God Is In It, and the Gaither classic, The King Is Coming. Number four is Better Together, produced by Ben Isaacs. This album features David Phelps, Wes Hampton, Adam Crabb, Todd Suttles, and Bill Gaither. It also marked David Phelps' last vocal band album before he returned to full-time solo work. While this lineup isn't my favorite, boy, do I love this album. The song arrangements keep you engaged and on the edge of your seat. Ben Isaacs produced this record like his rent was due, baby. Notable tracks are When He Set Me Free, But I Need You More, and Heart of Mine. Coming in at number three is We Have This Moment, produced by Gordon Moat. This album showcases Wes Hampton, Reggie Smith, Adam Crabb, Todd Suttles, and Bill Gaither, the current GVB lineup at the time of recording this video. Gordon Moat, the brilliant musician, takes the reins as producer. And can you imagine, like, the pressure of taking over after Ben Isaacs? I sure can't. But Gordon knocks it out of the park, and the extravagant orchestration by Russell Malden takes the album to another level. This project perfectly blends flavors of Southern Gospel and CCM, making it fresh and also engaging. Notable tracks include We Are God's Children, Man of Sorrows, and Hymn of Praise. At number two, we have I Do Believe, produced by Michael Sykes. This album features the powerhouse lineup of David Phelps, Guy Penrod, Mark Lowry, and Bill Gaither. As I mentioned in my video about my favorite lineups, this group had an absolutely massive sound because each of their voices, huge. While Phelps' voice would often stand out in later lineups, that wasn't the case here. Each member contributed to a sound of epic magnitude. The song selection on this album, top notch, and the musicianship is outstanding. Notable tracks include Where the Rivers Flow, The Love of God, and I Do Believe. Before I unveil my number one pick, let's take a moment for some honorable mentions. First up is Christmas, Gaither Vocal Band Style. This album is perfect from start to finish. It ticks every single box. And if you haven't heard Russell Malden's stunning acapella arrangement of Oh Little Town of Bethlehem, you're truly missing out. Another honorable mention goes to acapella. The arrangements on this album are stellar, and they set the bar for every other group in Southern Gospel music. I can't talk about Gaither Vocal Band albums without mentioning Together, a collaboration with Ernie Haas and Signature Sound. This album was my first real exposure to Southern Gospel and quartet music. I'd never heard anything more beautiful in my entire life. It moved me so deeply that I knew I wanted to sing, even though I had no formal singing experience. If the Lord wills it, I hope I get the opportunity to sing on the homecoming stage one day. And finally, at number one, we have Love and Life, featuring my all-time favorite Gaither vocal band lineup, Wes Hampton, Guy Penrod, Marshall Hall, and Bill Gaither. Yeah, I may be a little biased because this version of the group is my favorite, but Love and Life is an absolute masterpiece. It's built on powerful songs, masterful engineering, and exhilarating production. When you take a group with perfect blend and combine it with compelling vocal arrangements, you've got a recipe for magic. Now, this didn't influence my choice, but this album did win a Dove Award and a Grammy, so even industry peers agreed 
it was deserving of those honors. And there you have it, my friends, my top five Gator vocal band albums. Do you agree with my list? Let me know in the comments. If you don't, feel free to comment too. Just be nice. Remember, this is all for fun, so don't take it too seriously. Thanks so much for watching. God bless.